Greetings fellow YouTubers, Irv Lindsay here. Today's video takes place at Mammoth Cave National Park. Now this is uh, a six-year-old video that I never published. Me and my buddy Rick went on a uh, went on a road trip. Well, the National Park Service decided they were going to do a national park, and that whole area used to be farms and farmlands and stores. It was just it was a town. They bought it all out. They kicked everybody out, and they bulldozed all the houses. They bulldozed all the hotels. The great part about this video is you get to see this abandoned these woods, and you can tell that there used to be there used to be stuff there because we found we found features in the woods that proved that this was all abandoned farmland there used to be houses check it out i think you'll like it thanks for watching everybody appreciate it and uh, i'm just gonna let the video close naturally and i'll see you in the next one all right day number one well actually technically this is morning number one we're here at uh Mammoth Cave National Park in Kentucky. It's about 6.30 in the morning, 7 a.m., something like that. There's a pretty heavy mist hanging in the air. It's really pretty as the sun's rising through the mists of semi-fog. It's uh, about 65 degrees, maybe 63, I'm not sure. It's really nice. So, wait for Rick to finish his Carnation Instant Breakfast, and we're probably going to head out, so... Well, I'm here on the side of the road. <laughs> Rick's first question was, um, what is this? <laughs> um, let me show you here. Well, that's Rick. Wave to the camera, Rick. No, don't really do that. I'm kidding. We're basically at a tree line, and somewhere in that direction is a graveyard. All right, I'm in the middle of the forest. <laughs> Woods? I'm not sure. And found jack squat. And as you can see, this is all friggin' woods. Now, the interesting thing that we found, if you can see this, this dead tree right here uh, behind Rick, that is, it's, well, it's dead. There's one here. That's a dead what? Haunted tree. Yeah, kind of look haunted. They look kind of. Well, there's, there are. Did you say yeah? Because there's one over there. You can kind of see how there's several in a row, and if they're the same type of trees, and you might not be able to see the one that's kind of over there, but they're all planted in a row. They're all the same type of tree, and they're all dead. <laughs> So we're hoping this marks the edge of something that used to be maybe most of the trees around here. There's another one. Most of the trees around here are um, are young and new. See the uh, installment number three of Rick and Irv travel through the woods for no apparent reason. Versus the, the uh, mythical graveyard. <laughs> yeah, looking for the mythical graveyard. All right, we found something. I don't see gravestones, but let me do a, uh, a quick 360 of it. This is the largest tree. Rick, go stand by that tree while I'm doing a little 360 here. Rick has my staff. This is an opening in the middle of the forest. We figure this is either... How wide do you think this is that we're standing in right here? I think about 75 by uh, 25. So yeah, it's maybe 25 feet wide, 75 feet long. And this tree here, this is the biggest tree we have seen. This is by far the oldest tree we've come across. So we've got to be close to something that used to be something. We figure maybe this was the foundation of, is either foundation of a house or used to be a pond? I have, a, I have a hard time believing that this is a dried up pond because I see lots of leaves in it. It obviously has had water in it. It's uh, geometric, but that doesn't rule out a pond. A homemade pond. Yeah, yeah it, it is. This is an unnatural shape, I would think. I feel like I'm kind of trapped out of time. <laughs> 
like you know that you're standing right in the middle of something but there's nothing here and the people that used to live here that were made to leave left behind something and there's just distant echoes of it here so we're gonna keep looking may not find anything the next video will tell the tale hi this is Rick Allen we lost sight of each other I assume he's lost in the woods I ain't going back out, okay? It's dangerous in there. Haunted trees, you name it. I had to leave him. I hated to do it, but my truck right over there. Rick, ah. stop playing with the video oh. camera. He found me. We, uh, I'm backlit, but that's okay. I'm, you can hear my voice and you can see my big fat head shadowed against the sky. We never found it gonna go to the main office I think we're gonna put in a, a cave tour or two and uh, I think we proved to ourselves we're capable of handling it after that little trek we've spent about 45 minutes in uh, in the wild and uh, we found we found some sobering proof that people once lived here we uh, we found several man-made pits uh, unknown whether they were the foundation of a house once okay. or if they were uh, used to be watering holes but uh, one of them was plainly square it was it was unnatural it was man-made and it just uh, it was sobering it really was so we're headed out uh, Rick just found a uh, frog giggling on the ground big frog gig and uh just laying right here on the edge of the woods so uh it looks new-ish anyway uh that's the uh wandering through the wood wandering through the woods looking for the furlong graveyard and finding other proofs that people were here but no graveyard